Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Today we are gonna relaunch this channel. We're going to uh, talk about how it's gonna be different going forward, uh, a strategy for 2023 and beyond, and a new branding, a whole new look, a whole new channel. So the very first thing I wanna say is a massive, massive thank you. Um, a lot of you noticed that I was asking a lot of questions, getting a lot of, a lot of feedback from you guys on some of the the brand ideas or the ways that I wanted to rename the channel and focus and um, I was just really blown away by all the ideas you had so we're gonna talk about that in a minute um, just a few things I want to talk about first obviously as you can tell my setting is slightly different for this video we are in California um, Danae and I are on another getaway it's kind of our last hurrah before I start a full-time job yay so excited about that. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, uh, Danae and I decided to take a quick getaway for a few days to her happiest place in the world. She's from California. She's a, a beach girl and she wanted to, um, to see and experience the ocean and just take it easy for a few days, even though it's winter and it's a little chilly. Um, it's still her happy place. And of course, as you know, happy, happy wife, happy life. So that's why we're here and um, yeah, we're just taking it easy. We'll, we'll definitely do some photography though. I've got another video that I'm working on that I'm really excited about. It's a comparison video like many of the comparison videos I've been doing recently. This one I'm really excited about, but you'll just have to stay tuned to see what that's all about. So as I mentioned in that video, kind of the end of the Danae and Andrew channel, um, it, it had been a really hard 2022, but I wanted to tell you about all the good things that are happening um, and one of those is um, is sponsorship and this video is sponsored and one of my favorite sponsors and they're going to be a big part of this channel going forward in 2023 and that is KEH who I, as you know, I love. I have a special place in my heart for KEH. They've allowed us and this channel to do so many things that we just would not have been able to do and i'm not talking about financial i'm talking about access to gear to make the kind of videos that i love that have really helped this channel to succeed so um not only that but enabled us to get the kind of gear that we want in this day and age it seems like gear is treated um, like instant cameras to be used and, and kind of cast aside once the better thing comes out but KEH has a different philosophy. Gear that deserves to last, they make last. They have over 60,000 items in stock, all graded by professionals, all for 40% below retail. And here's one thing I notice about gear. As, as it improves every year, the improvements get shorter, smaller, lesser, um, more incremental, and less significant the more we get towards the perfect quote-unquote camera. Um, we're starting to see cameras come out that have, you know, very minute feature increases. Cameras are just so good. And um, for us as photographers, there's a lot of value um, to be had in, in, in finding gear that's been used and also graded professionally um, so that we don't have to waste so much money on stuff that's really not going to bring the value. I know that the marketplace wants us to think that the latest and greatest is absolutely essential, but it really isn't. Um, to create amazing photography, we've got, <laughs> like I said, over 60,000 items at KEH to choose from. Um, again, for 40% below what you'd spend um, at market. So, and beyond that, there's a 180 day warranty for any problems that might come up, which, you know, I've never had to use personally, and we use KEH all the time. So, uh, big thanks to KEH for helping sponsor this video, and I would encourage you to give them a look. Also, if you're selling gear, um, so much of our gear this last few years as, as we've gone through life and financial turmoil has gone back to KEH to be used by other photographers to be graded, to be sorted, to be um, preserved and not wasted. And um, that's great. And it's allowed us to be able to have finances to do other things and that equity. Um, so we're excited to have that partnership with KEH going forward. Um, you will see more collaborations with them 
both in forms of uh, in the form of gear that they can provide that we wouldn't be able to get otherwise, but also just in making these videos possible financially. There are other things that are looking up as well. I posted it, the things that we had lost, right? The year of loss, losses, the things that had really gone wrong in my last video in 2022. I even forgot a couple. For instance, one thing that, that we went through was also was a lawsuit. Um, which was extremely stressful. Um, it, it had to do with a, a car accident. Um, and But the great news is that so many of those things have been resolved. We had the fire, we've now got that all resolved and sorted out and we're better off than we were before in many ways. Um, same with, uh, same with the, the lawsuit that's done and over no longer a concern such a relief to have that done but the other thing was that I talked about how I didn't have a job and how stressful that was and pretty much just relying on side work and other things to kind of get by um, and I asked for your help anyone who knew any of any opportunities that fit with my skill set I thought that was just a total shot in the dark that, that I wouldn't uh, maybe nothing would come of it but man I had so many of you reach out with like really solid leads uh, more than I could even respond to and I apologize if I, I think I had a few of you that I, I didn't quite get back to um, but there were so many opportunities and um, I went from you know really there weren't a whole lot of interviews happening um, some of that also was just because it was the end of the year and people don't wait to hire to the beginning of 2020 in 2023 budgets reset but man I just all of a sudden had all these opportunities and um, one of those opportunities did lead to a full-time job I'm happy to happy to report that next week I do start at a company and um, really excited about that opportunity and the people there um, and that came from that uh, directly as a result of that video so Matt massive thank you there's so many of you that did help that wanted to help so many of you that were like if there's anything I can do and I just, I just love everyone in the part of this community, all of you that follow this channel and that care. I'm just overwhelmed by it. You know, there's so much, you read the news sometimes and, and it makes you think that there's only evil and cruelty and hatred in this world and divisiveness, but um, I don't think I got a single negative con comment as a result of that really kind of vulnerable video. Um, really, it was just so much encouragement and kindness and real, real opportunity from people who care. And I just want you to know that, that I'm full of gratitude for all of you. Um, it, was, it was really just really humbling, so I appreciate that. So let's talk about the, the, the new channel, the new look of the channel going forward. Um, as I said, we're changing the name of the channel, but I really didn't know to what. So I started experimenting with a lot of different designs, a lot of different ideas and names for the channel. And a lot of you noticed that I was putting out little surveys and little opportunities for feedback. And I, I really appreciate those of you that, that suggested things and that was, you know, that provided critical feedback. So many good ideas also. The thing that I learned that was important to those of you who have, feel some investment in the channel was that um, the, the emphasis on doing good with your camera. This, you know, how I close the videos and that that's become something that, that you feel is, is an important part of the culture, I guess, of this channel. And I feel that way too. But I was having a hard time reconciling that idea with, um, of doing good, also with the, the goal of the channel in many ways, which is to this comparison to really help, help folks find what's gonna work be best with them when it comes to, uh, to gear, when it comes to style photography, that sort of thing. And so, um, and also focal length, it's not just the gear, but also style, how to shoot. Like that's really the purpose of the channel, to help you folks find your place in that big photography world. That's really the purpose of the channel in many ways, but it's also to do good. So how do you recognize, rec reconcile those two things? So I experimented with a lot of ideas. I'll show, show some of those now of, of different ways that I explored and different names. But where I arrived was because every time I kind of deviated from that do good idea, doing good with your camera, people really kind of were like, well, what about that? And but on the other side, I also got very common for people to say, why don't you just use your name? Most YouTubers tend to do that, right? Um, why not just say Andrew and my last name? Well, there's a very good reason for that. Um, I don't use my last name. Um, 
on uh, on the social media and on YouTube um, because we have adopted kids and um, those of you who have adopted through foster will understand why we don't do that so I don't use my last name so I can't do that and so then it's awkward like well what do you do if you're not gonna use your name so as I explored the idea of using my name um, focusing on doing good with your camera but also um, focusing on helping people find what's right for them as far as gear and style um, it, it felt like that's where I arrived at the at the name Andrew good camera because um, and then exploding the good camera into do good with your camera when it comes to that branding that incorporates the doing good with your camera por portion or idea or motif but also just finding a good camera finding um, a way of shooting that works for you so Andrew good camera that's the name of the channel now going forward for better or for worse that's where we've arrived not everyone's gonna love that I know but I feel like that incorporates all the goals um, that we have in a in a way that I feel comfortable with. So that's what we're going with. Uh, feel free to comment below on what you think of that. <laughs> I know not everyone will love it, but but I think it works. I, I, I it's kind of growing on me. At first, I wasn't sure, but but I think I'm there. So with the branding now in place, um, we can go to the next thing, which is merch. <laughs> Finally bring merch back to the channel. And this is another person that reached out to me, Dave at Crowdmade, the CEO or founder and owner, whatever, whatever your title is, Dave, reached out and said, hey, we'd love to collaborate with you um, on, on some merch. And I was really impressed with Dave and his team. Um, so thought that'd be a great place to go. So we're we're gonna start rolling out more merch. You'll see some below on this video and going forward for the new channel. If you want to support what, what I'm doing here, the new direction, um, financially make it possible for me to continue to make these videos, give the merch a look. But I think that might be it for now. Just a short update video. I'll show you some photos that I've made so far and will be making throughout this trip a little bit. Um, end with some of those photos. And again, a big, giant thank you. Love you guys so much. I'm so grateful to have this channel and the community, a way to connect with people like you. Um, so remember to do good with your camera and we'll talk to you again real soon.